All right. Hey, we can see Karen. Hey. So we're recording? <laughs> yeah, I figured we'd, uh, we'd share this with Twitter. So first off, this is a binaural recording. So if you have headphones, use them. <laughs> All right. We just had Karen play Skyrim for the first time. What did you think? That's good fun. It's good. Well, I mean, I, I haven't done much yet, but, you know, it's it's still very immersive and, like, pretty and... I like my character. <laughs> yeah, you went for High Elf? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was fighting between High Elf and Wood Elf, and the vote from chat was High Elf. So yeah, barely. By one vote. Somebody swung the vote. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> it's better than sitting there deliberating forever, so... Why'd you go for Elves again? Why'd you pick um, Elves? Well, I mean, I usually prefer a little longer distance. I, want, I either wanted Magic, um, because it's both long distance and it's cool to see, like, all the colorful stuff shooting out and whatever and then or like the animal attack for you thing on the wood elf thing sounded cool too and like archery and like yeah, you know i you know the, there was a temptation there but yeah. we'll, we'll do the magic route yeah well have to, <laughs> i'm really curious about the animal thing because i've never been an elf actually yeah. I, i've only ever been a nord kajit and probably one other thing in testing like an orc or something like that but Mm-hmm. That's a bit about it, but like, what what were the things that um, other than you bugging out like mad oh, thanks to, uh, <laughs> it's called um, inverse kinematics, you know, when you have like real arms. So that that's not oh, in natural okay. Skyrim. That's a mod. So being able to see your armor on your arms on your forearms, oh uh, yeah, yeah, and all that, mm-hmm. like those appear on your character, mm-hmm. but uh, without the mod, your arms don't follow your controllers. Okay. So that's like that's like one of the mods. Well, but with, I mean, without, I mean, it, it, Skyrim for VR is a mod in, in its own, isn't it? No. Well, it, it's a it's a re it's a repackaged game. So Bethesda, the company behind it, actually created their own okay. VR build. But it's it's right. So it's, it is official it's native. release. Yeah, it's right. native. It's not bolted on. It's not mm-hmm. like someone scraping the code and building VR in so, that way. So in the original VR game then, what do you see if you hold out your arms? Or you try to hold out your arms with your controllers? Two very large fish. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> do you see like your arms without armor? Do you I not see your arms? It's like, been like 500 hours. I don't even oh, remember. Oh, yeah, you probably don't remember what's not no, a lot at this I point. Don't, I don't remember at all. Um... <laughs> I think I don't think it's like your hands are jetting out. Like in the Persistence, which is a horror game, mm-hmm. your two forearms are like stuck out, and it's really weird. So when you turn mm-hmm. around, it's like you have these fixed forearms, which just doesn't look good. Right. So. I, yeah, I mean, I, I, you you warned me about the intro of Skyrim being buggy, and it definitely was buggy. <laughs> um, so it'll be nice to get into like the main game and and get away from that a bit, because because like um the I really don't think the motion like walking around was not was not bad, yeah. um turning with the controller is bad. Yeah, it's bad for me even. <laughs> but um, it's ju- the shuddery, right? Really, the thing that was really getting me was the was the buggy kind of Shutter. jerking me around. Yeah, yeah Um But sorry, what was the question? You asked me something with that. No, no, no. I was saying that um, the the motion so when you're trying to do uh step left step right step forward step back like all that stuff is generally comfortable mm-hmm. but when you try to sweep left with the controller like you try to spin it's not smooth it's like it's almost like stuttery or something it's not comfortable and i'm not sure oh you mean use the controller why. to turn instead of your body no it's the other way around I think the only comfortable way to turn is with your body. Yeah, no, no, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying right. you're saying the bad bit is when you use the controller. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. Well, because it's for some reason like the way they implemented it, it's just not smooth, so it doesn't feel yeah. good. But it was really cool seeing you obviously watch the beheading right at the beginning. The dragon the is cool. The He's got a special name. I forget his name. <laughs> uh, Alduin, I think, is the name of this guy. I haven't beaten oh, okay. it myself. Right, but what is he like an end boss or something? He is the, yeah, oh, he's the king right, right, dragon right. basically, hmm. and so the the city that you start off in, which I think is Rorikstead, um, it gets burned to the ground because he he comes <laughs> down in the middle of the beheading, right, and just torches everything. But of course, I would have died <laughs> if he had not come down. So, <laughs> how, how did you? How excited did you get? Like, uh, uh, I don't know, out of ten or and just in words, um, when the dragon burst through the side of the castle. 
Oh, that made me jump. That definitely made me jump. Um, I mean, it wasn't like... Well, it wasn't like horror game level jump or anything, but it was it was still fun. <laughs> yeah. And it was funny because you got this strange bug that the building you were meant to jump into didn't actually disintegrate, so yeah, exactly. you and couldn't get in. <laughs> but I, I was I was glad that when we uh, went back to the save that it was okay, because I was going to be like, oh no, like I was worried for a second that I was going to have to like remake my character, but luckily I didn't. Yeah, I'm glad that, that worked out for you, yeah. <laughs> So, chat voted uh, at the end of tonight's stream. I, I said, okay, if if, um, if you want Karen to come back tomorrow and play more Skyrim, and that to be our main show tomorrow, then uh, well, I need to see at least five ones in chat. And so I got four ones and a f number five. So And a number five. What is... What? Yeah. Some jerk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Typical chat, right? Uh-huh. Um, so you know you can make the call, but if you want to do more, we'll we'll line it up for tomorrow. And okay, that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious to see you. Like now, you've just started getting into it. Mm -hmm. Like when you started like hacking those those guards and stuff, that was really good fun. <laughs> I wasn't like when I when I started whacking at him. I'm like, am I supposed to like aim? For, like my my natural instinct is to go, oh well, I should be aiming aiming for the skin instead of the armor. But I don't think it's necessarily that smart. It's not that. It's not. Yeah, it's not quite that smart. Head does matter, so hitting, okay. hitting the head matters. You'll actually see it when you do like um, a proper shot on the head. I've got a mod that basically it'll flash like red. So right. It's almost like a, a critical hit. You can tell. And then second shot his body, I guess, or anywhere on the body, I suppose. Yeah. Like, does it matter? Like, is his arms and legs not as good? I don't remember. I don't remember if it's smart enough to know. Like, you, you would take more damage. I think there is some corporal damage system because they had it for example in fallout where if you hit a hand or an mm -hmm. arm or, but i I'm, I'm not sure how advanced it is in skyrim but uh, when, when it, skyrim it knows come out again? uh well we just had Didn't the 10th 10, right? anniversary release yeah mm -hmm. well it's really hmm. funny i still think it's funny that like our anniversary of of meeting was what couple of years prior to skyrim it was pretty cool mm. uh, but like same same, same day. day yeah <laughs> it's just weird right but it's it's super super fun for me to see you experience this e even when you took whatever it was 40 minutes to go through character creation <laughs> it's just like i took way longer because you weren't helpful <laughs> i kept going brad here's a question and you just make a joke and move on it's like no i need to know this information i suppose i suppose i could have just pretended you weren't there and and done the guess that most people do with this thing but <laughs> Well, that was loads of fun, so um, any final thoughts before we wrap this up? Um, I'm really looking forward to actually getting into the magic bit of my character, because they've only given me melee weapons, and that's not what my character's for, so it should be fun. Yeah, I, I don't remember how that gets introduced to you, but again, I, I'm not going to spoil it, so... Yeah. The game, the, the beautiful thing about Skyrim that I really enjoy is that it it's what you make it, Mm -hmm. Like, if you wanted to go around just with a dagger and sneak behind people and pickpocket them and stab them in their sleep and stuff, you could do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, one of the th weird things that happened to me during my playthrough was I got turned into a vampire. Oh, yeah, yeah, you told me that. I know yeah. I'm a vampire for my entire... I think there's some random altar or cave in the game where you can go and undo being a vampire. Mm -hmm. But... I'm like, no, I'm a vampire now. I'm going to live the vampire life. I've only sucked the blood of one person because it's quite awkward. You have to like find them at a certain time of day to find them in like a bed. There's not that many NPCs in beds. And then you have to kind of go and drain their blood or something. So Do you actually have to like lean over them? And... You have to crouch. Yeah, you have to physically yeah. crouch to be able to. It's, it's kind of silly. But like those kinds of random things will happen. And that's, yeah. that's just like, you know, most of, I had a huge train of followers. Mm -hmm. A bunch of them got wiped out by dragons. They had loads of armor that I'd spent no. probably 40 hours giving them all this cool stuff, right? Yeah. And they all got killed off. But I don't, I'm not like going back to a save to kind of resurrect them because it's I feel the, that's like... That's the only way to bring them back, right? Is yeah. To go back a save. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's like, but the but but I could have done it right then and there, right? When, yeah, you, when they yeah. get killed, you just back up a step. But I tend to like to... Um, immerse myself in it like yeah. oh it feels real now mm -hmm. it's like hardcore mode basically the, the game oh, isn't wait, tougher wait, wait. you can't loot their bodies 
I, d- I don't know where their bodies went. Oh. But the, is that always the case, or just no? Particular... No, if they die in front of you, you can always pick stuff off them. But, okay, okay. But uh, I had meticulously, like, I had crafted outfits for each of my characters and all this kind of stuff, and you can make them look really awesome. And certain yeah. things, when you put it on a on an NPC, uh, a follower of yours, like it, it totally changes their look, and you wouldn't expect mm-hmm. it. Like this, what was called hoary Nord armor, this like old skeleton, old uh, zombie armor. I put it on, a, on this girl, and it was like the most sexy top I've ever seen on a, on a character <laughs> in this game, in the vanilla. And I was like, okay, you can keep that. <laughs> you know, it was just kind of funny. But you'll, you'll find those as you go through. But magic is, uh, is something else. I can't wait to see you uh, do that. Maybe in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. Well, um, I'd say happy Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving's over. It's not in the U.S., and that's where it counts, right? Oh, fair point. So, happy Thanksgiving. All right. <laughs> Night, everybody. Good night.